Hi, this is KSP with Tape, and today I'm flying the Falcon 1 rocket. Falcon 1 is a rocket developed by a mod developer named Kerbex. Kerbex develops uh, renditions of SpaceX's ships for Kerbal Space Program. Now, SpaceX is a privately founded company by a man called Elon Musk, who also founded PayPal and Tesla Motors. Motors. They make um, spacefaring vehicles, and their ultimate goal is to make humanity an interplanetary species, i.e. go to Mars, and put us on there in a big million people colony, eventually. Hopefully, at least. Um, that's after quite a lot of work, but right now, Mars is a little far off for them, so they're making rockets to put things into low Earth orbit and geostationary orbit. They had the Falcon 1, which was a a good, uh, which gave them a foothold, um, put small satellites into low Earth orbit, and uh, then they built Falcon 9, which is a, an incredible rocket. It's used for putting larger payloads into low Earth orbit or geostationary orbit, and for docking uh, a Dragon capsule, uh, their capsule called Dragon, to the International Space Station, and delivering payload, uh, it's, and taking and bringing back payload, like a lot of payload. And it's the first company in history to ever dock, uh, who pri first private company in history to ever dock with the International Space Station, which is impressive. And uh, they have plans to make a ship called Falcon Heavy, which will be able to take 56 tons of payload into low Earth orbit, and slightly less into geostationary orbit. But it's all very incredible, and that's for under a hundred million dollars, considering a shuttle launch should cost 450 million dollars. That is ridiculous. So let's go to the VAB and I will show you the mod pack. Well, first we're going to need something to put into orbit. So I'm going to ma make a small communication satellite. Uh, so we'll use a little pod because we don't need anything else. Uh, I'll, the base will be this little structural thing with the circular bottom. Um, it'll need communications. So. Uh, Communicatron 8888, which is a satellite dish to, you know, non-Kerbals. Uh, then we'll have some solar panels, because solar panels are always good. Um, yeah, the 2 by 3 And some batteries, because why not? Yeah, because I'm going to put lights on it, because everyone likes lights, and they need power. Uh, yeah, let's put four lights on it, because why not? Uh, yeah, that's all I need, I think. That's a fairly simple satellite, and no one wants to see the satellite, they want to see Falcon 1. Hopefully, or, uh, well, hopefully people are viewing this, so hopefully they want to see it. Right, so this is the payload separator and advanced SES, so you get this symbol you haven't seen since version 0.17, I believe. And then you have a range of fairings, uh, that's Falcon 9 fairings. Uh, there's the Falcon 1 payload fitting, or fairing, which is too small for this satellite, and in fact I've never been able to use it for anything, so it's maybe for really small space probes. But they give you an extended fairing, which is very useful. Uh, so you have your little capsule, and I like the fairings because they don't give you fairings in the game, which sucks, so devs make some fairings. Um, and you can down download another mod for it, which I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, I'm pretty sure Scott Manley mentions it. But yeah, and then you have your first, second stage fuel tank, which has 90 litres of fuel in it. I think the standard unit of measurements litres, I think, possibly. It, it should be litres. Um, maybe it's, it can't be gallons. Maybe they have another name for it on Kerbin, maybe it's Callens or Keters or something ridiculous. And then you get this little black fairing, which gives you a black little, black leaf coupler and fairing. It's just making it look authentic. And then you get 480 litres of fuel uh, to take it into, take the whole thing into orbit. Doesn't sound like much, but I think most of my crafts I build do it with less. So take that, um, SpaceX. But no, seriously, um, and I don't. Uh, I'm not actually sure how much I usually use for small satellites, but whatever. And you can hear a great amount of interference on my speakers. And I'm sorry if the sound quality is a little low because. It's a pretty abysmal microphone, but I have no money right now. So yeah, the only stock part I'm using is these, well, except from the satellite, is these um, launch clamps. So yeah, I think the staging is set up. 
Oh, and yeah, why not? Let's put some... Well, first off, let's name it Falcon 1. And then let's put some action groups for the actual satellite to make my life a little easier. Although, disassembling this is never... Oh, no, that was easy. I was worried it... It's usually hard, and then I say it's going to be hard, and then it's ridiculous. Usually it just takes a bit of faffing around. So yeah, um, one will be the solar panels, and two, the communicatrons. And the lights are already tied to you. You the button, not I haven't just come and tied lights to you. Because that would be kind of weird, and all of you would be very violated. And, and this isn't grabbing, and I'm rambling. Oh, good. Well, that's just wonderful. Ah, oh, come on. Well, I'll just build another one. I'll just throw it together because... Oh, there you go. Now you do it. See? Sounding like a crazy again. Yeah, it just wasn't grabbing. Okay, that's your rocket. Let's get out onto the launch pad because that's what you all really want to see. Good. Yeah. Um, so the rocket itself is actually pretty good. It gets into a nice orbit quite easily. I've heard... Well, I heard one person say that... It hardly got into orbit, but it does. I've got it into a 45 kilometer orbit before, which would like drained all of the fuel, but that's about what it can do, if you know what you're doing, which I probably don't. So you could probably get it higher if you get it 45? No, 450 kilometer orbit. 45 is in the atmosphere. I got it to a 450 kilometer orbit, which is about all you can do, but if you can do better, please, please tell me, and then I'll be, um, then I'll look silly, and it'll be funny for everyone. And I already look silly because I said 45 kilometers. Anyway, yeah, so you can use SAS because there's one gimbling engine, and it's very light and stable. So yeah, let's go. So yeah, it takes off really nicely and very fast. It's incredibly fast because it's really light and has a relatively powerful engine. It's, I think, 260 kilonewtons of thrust, which is substantially more than the LVT 35s and 45s or something. That's a, I always, yeah, uh, but it does have a slight overheating problem, so you're going to want to throttle down when you get a little bit of speed up. And the um, fuel coming out of it actually looks like, like, a, like a solid fuel rocket. Uh, uh, maybe that's an aesthetic choice by the devs, or maybe they just forgot. So we'll throttle down slightly to stop it overheating, and because it's going fast. Can I throttle up? No, that'll overheat. Okay, we put it there. And we're coming up to 2k, uh, 2 kilometers. And burning our fuel nicely. Nicely fast. How's it? Uh, it looks like there's actually a bit of an overheating problem, but it should be fine. Uh, yeah, it's, like I said, it's pretty fast and it's very stable. And the, yeah, the mod pack itself is uh, really good. It gives you all the parts for Falcon 1 and Falcon 9. And with Falcon 9 parts, you can build, or build Falcon Heavy. And I'm coming up to 4 kilometers, which is where I tend to tip over slightly for a speed increase. I'm not sure if that helps. I do my full gravity turn at 13 kilometers because that's when you just get out of the atmosphere. I think Scott Manley says to do it around 10 kilometers, but, but I've gotten into a habit, so I'm going to stick to it. So yeah, we're coming up to 6 kilometers, and you can see the SS force on the side, which you haven't seen for a while because they changed that. Quickly orient my map for when I come out. Orientate my map. So, uh, and yeah, you can see it's pretty light. And with the clamps, it's only 21 parts. So the actual rocket right now is 19 parts, which is including the satellite, which is really good. And yeah, it's a very effective craft. And am I going to get that? Um worrying about fuel, as I always do, but I'm sure it'll be fine, because I've done this many times before. Well, I've done it a few times before, and then actually messed up my, well, no, my recorder messed up, because, well, because it likes to do that. And my, well, I'm using Ubuntu, which seems to be kind of buggy right now, especially for gaming. It is abysmal for gaming. I like Ubuntu, but for gaming, it's just awful. There you go, 68,000, which is still on Atmos, so you separate off your first stage, and that's really quiet for some reason. I don't know. 
and then just use this engine to burn just out of the atmosphere. Uh, it's not activated and I'm falling. Activate. There you go. Because you don't want to burn too much inside the atmosphere because it's made for out of atmo and that's where it works best. And yeah, 72 will be alright. And then I can tip over and do the whole thing. So I'll just warp up there. And I think you can do the whole launch under physical time warp because, well, because it's a really, really stable craft. All right, we're coming up to 65k, 68. And here we go into orbit. Well, into out of Atmo. Not into orbit yet. It's a little. So you. Initially, I was put a little bit above the horizon, so I don't go over my apple apps because um, because I don't want to because it's more efficient to burn at apple apps. Although this is really light and really powerful, so just burn on horizon. Yeah, so ideally, you want to be burning actually on your apple apsis, um, which I'm not doing because this is too powerful. Because um, because that's the most efficient way to burn to circularize and make your orbit and I'm worrying about fuel so I'll get a periapsis and then warp round and pull it out of out of, um, out of Atmo and I think I'll put it in uh, the whole craft into a hundred kilometer orbit and oh and on the new update they've given you a really nice little Thing where you can click on it and all the values of your apple apps and peri periapsis just stay there and it's really easy to do. Oh, that's a hundred and okay, let's put it at 120 so it's a nice round number and then just walk around apple apps and burn it prograde to push your periaps out. If you want to learn the basics of flying, just take the tutorials on the game. If you want to get really good at flying and docking and things. Watch lots of videos, preferably my videos, but uh, if you really want to learn, probably watch someone else's. Yeah, like guys, uh, yeah, if you, most people, I think, I've heard a lot of people say um, they watch other people's videos to get really good at the game. Like I learned how to properly dock, well, learn how to dock on videos and how to do it well, because when I first tried it without it, I was just bouncing around, uh, bouncing around like a crazy. Right, and I'll probably do a docking video at some point. Yeah, I'll I'll explain my plans for videos at the end of this video. But let's focus on this right now. So you go there, burn it, prograde, and get it roughly. Yeah, that's off by about four thousand. But usually I'm really perfectionist about this. But for the sake of time, let's keep it there. Um, and it is stable. People make the mistake of thinking, oh no, it's not perfectly eccentricitousless. That's probably not even a word. But perfectly circular. So it's not stable. But it's stable as long as it's out of atmosphere and not hitting the ground if there is no atmosphere. So let's watch our fairings decouple. Annoyingly in the night, I'll, I'll put it up against the light background because I'm not sure how bright this will be. Ah, uh, uh, you get it. Watch that move away. And then jettison my engine and illuminate all of this with my nice beautiful lights open up the solar panels oh and the communicatron I put them on the same action group oh well that's probably best and warp it into daytime because then we get to see sunrise or just the solar panels working I don't really know so that's our um, communication satellite in orbit of Kerbin, and you can see there, going to find the sun. So in my next video, I'll probably be launching the Falcon 9 rocket, and then maybe I'll do a Soyuz rocket, and maybe a Falcon Heavy. But at some point I will be, well, hopefully relatively soon, because I've got quite a lot of time on my hands right now. Um, hopefully I'll, I'll do some of my own ships. Uh, well, well, I will do some of my own ships, and maybe I'll send an Apollo-style mission, or just a general man lander, maybe change the game, say, call, him Neil, call the pilot Neil Armstrong, and have a lot of fun with that, and eventually some bigger projects, so, um, 
yeah, come back and watch them. Thanks for thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hmm. <clears throat>